So you're thinking about moving to the community of Strathcona in Edmonton? Well, you are definitely not alone. Strathcona is one of the premier communities in the city of Edmonton. Top five, if you had to ask me. I think it is a phenomenal community to be a part of. And today we're gonna to dive into why that is. What makes Strathcona such a great neighborhood here in the city of Edmonton? Now, I'm going to give you a little hint. We're just at the tip of the Queen Elizabeth Park here. And I'll show you just down the hill. We have the city of Edmonton. We have downtown views. We have river valley views and such easy access to get into the river valley. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Brian. I'm a real estate agent here in the city of Edmonton. And I get calls and texts from people every single day who are looking to make the move to Edmonton, whether it be from expensive cities like Toronto and Vancouver, or they're coming from abroad, or maybe they just want a change of pace. There are plenty of people moving to Edmonton. And if that sounds like you, I want you to get in touch with me so that we can make your move to Edmonton a smooth one. I have all my contact information in the description. And so get in touch with me however you feel most comfortable. We're starting to get recognized in the streets and on the roads here now. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can say you're one of the early adopters. But honestly, if you do want to be in touch with the real estate market, if you want to be the first to know about the current market in Edmonton, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. So let's dive into Strathcona and what makes the community so great. We're gonna be looking at the amenities, we're gonna be looking at the schooling, we're gonna be looking at some housing here in the community of Strathcona, so make sure you stick around. Right, guys we're going to talk about the amenities that we have here in Strathcona now I wanted to show you some of the amenities I'll have to throw up some videos and pictures here on the screen because driving down to White Ave there are just too many cars and people walking and driving by it got a little too loud for the microphone and I want to make sure you guys have the best audio on these videos so we're going to talk a little bit about the amenities that you're going to find here in Strathcona now on the bottom edge of Strathcona you're going to have White Ave. And if you don't know what White Ave is, it is a very iconic and vibrant street here in the Edmonton area that is filled to the brim for blocks and blocks of local stores, local restaurants, all the way up to chain stores like Lululemon and Winners. You're going to have a ton of shopping options. Now, because White Avenue is so close to the University of Alberta, there's going to be lots of students who hang out there, go out to grab a bite to eat after school. There's lots of people who like to hang out there and go check out the shops, all the local offerings that we have there as well. So it's definitely a great place to be in terms of amenities. Now, just south of White Ave, you're also going to have Calgary Trail and Gateway Boulevard, which is another street that has a ton of shopping options. You're going to have all of your chains down that road, as well as Peter's Drive-In, which can be an Edmonton, Calgary, and Red Deer favorite as well. It's a little bit local to Alberta, a burger and shake place. So you're going to have a ton of shopping all along Strathcona here, especially on that bottom half when you get into White Ave and then Gateway Boulevard and Calgary Trail. <laughs> We are here at the first house that I wanted to show you today in Strathcona, and that's going to be the house just to the left of me here, this nice little brick house. It has 1,400 square feet, five bedrooms, and three bathrooms. Now, this one's listed at $755,000, and part of the big appeal is you are steps, and I mean steps. You can see that just down there to the Mill Creek Ravine with lots of walking trails to go be in. Now, as you can see, Strathcona is just lined with trees on either side of the road here. We've got the Mill Creek Ravine. We're also on the River Valley here as well. So if you like being in a community where you're going to feel there's just so much nature in all around you, this is definitely the community to be in. You can imagine how beautiful these roads would be with leaves on the trees or even after a fresh snowfall when the snow is sitting on those trees as well. It's just a gorgeous sight. And this is such a peaceful and quiet neighborhood. I've been here walking up and down for a few minutes now. Not a car has gone by. 
and it's been nice with people walking their dogs through the street just a nice quiet community to be in so we're gonna go check out one more home before we wrap up the video here so make sure you stick around for that one and thank you guys for sticking around this far in the video be sure to give the video a like if you found this helpful guys we're coming up on the last house that I wanted to show you guys here today in Strathcona but first before I do they've got a balcony on top of the house and these have got to be some of the best views in Edmonton we are right across from the river valley and right across from downtown on the other side of the river valley here so we're coming up on the house before we do see the house I want to tell you a little bit about the schools that we have here in Strathcona now in Strathcona itself, we have King Edward, which is an elementary school. We also have Old Scona, which is an academic focused high school where they put an increased focus on the academics of the high school students. You could hear there's a ton of birds in those trees there. Really a nice, pleasant sound. But apart from those schools, we do have a lot of access to other schools in neighboring areas. And like I mentioned, the University of Alberta in certain parts of Strathcona is only a five minute drive away. We also have Strathcona High School, which isn't too far south either. So here's the house that we're taking a look at today. Now this house here has a patio on top, so you can see downtown. I imagine as the sun sets over the river, that is just a gorgeous sight. So let's keep taking a look at that home there. It has just under 2,500 square feet of living space inside the home with three bedrooms, two full baths, and another three half bathrooms as well. And again, a patio on top where you get gorgeous downtown views. Now guys, that's gonna wrap up the community tour of Strathcona for us today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button so that other people can find this channel and this video as well. If you wanna be the first to know about the current market in Edmonton, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you just wanna see more of these tours, I'm gonna to throw up a card here so that you can see more video tours of different communities in Edmonton. And if you're not gonna watch one right away, then we will definitely see you in the next video. Thanks guys.